Hi guys, how are you? Hey man, very good. How are you? How are you doing? Fine, fine. Uh, well, thank you very much for this interview. Uh, let's start. Uh, so, uh, the showrunner said that season one has elements from books uh, one, two, and three. How deep did you dive into the books uh, to create uh, your characters? Um, as, as deep as I could, you know, um, when I got the, the part I started reading, I've been reading uh, since, I'm still reading uh, today, or maybe not today, but tomorrow. Um, and um, it just, um, you know, as, at first there's, there's the script and that's the, my first source and then there's the books and, uh, and it just goes hand in hand, you know, it's just, uh, um, it gives you ideas and it makes you understand the world of the, world of the Wheel of Time with, with its different cultures, its different beliefs. But it, it, it especially helps with trying to understand the character, trying to find the essence of the character, really. So you are working with uh, source material that uh, has a strong fan base. Uh, is it harder or easier for you to work with a well-established uh, universe? Yeah, I mean, having, you know, all that text there can only be beneficial as an actor. Like, in obviously the scripts are incredible, but there, there's in the books there's chapters where Robert Jordan can describe in detail what the character is going through their inner monologue and and the and the kind of trauma and turmoil that they that they've been on on their particular journey in that book so um it can only help and i think as an actor you want as much kind of meat to kind of um to have to kind of sink your teeth into so i think um it helps you establish everything and i think for a big job like this um for the big sets the big action the big visual effects having a big amount of source material only kind of like assists the performance so uh, how does it feel for you to get into characters that do not wield the power as women do in this universe? Well, that's it. You know, it's interesting that in this world, um, women are allowed to use the power and they do, you know, they're Aes Sedai and mm -hmm. men are not allowed to channel. Um, and those are out there are quite rare. There are not so many men that can channel. Um, but if men do channel, um, then they go mad and they abuse their power. So I think that's an interesting thought, you know, what, what does that say? Uh, um, and yeah, our characters, I feel like all those two rivers uh, folk, they have all different kind of strengths that they have to discover for themselves. And for some, you know, it's, it's, it's channeling and, and for some it's, it's, it's something else. And I guess you know, uh, developing those strengths is what the whole first season is about. Mm. So uh, what do you value the most and what scares you the most uh, about your characters? Oh, um, oh. For me personally, there's there's a quality of my character being, you know, quite quiet, quite reserved and, and as, a, as a main character, not, not speaking a lot. And I think that's just something that I found quite interesting as an actor to have a character who doesn't, who's not always the loudest in the room and to use, you know, subtle gestures and body languages, um, body language to kind of tell a story through that, through that medium. But um, challenging, um, oh, sure. It's a good question. It's a very good question. <laughs> Yeah. So give me your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I guess, um, I guess what is, um, I guess what can be challenging is, you know, being aware of what happens in the books and all of our characters, they, they have so much potential and that their arcs are, you know, insane. If you, if, if I look at the books, uh, Rand's arc is, uh, you know, it's, um, it uh, blows my mind, and but then the challenge is to um, go back to the scripts and not and and just go page by page, and that's what we did in the first season. You know, this story it starts in the two rivers, and uh, the challenge is there that you know um, what is important is 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 to show that these characters are not heroes yet, and they shouldn't be. Um, um, shown to you on, on a plate. No, these characters are real and they're human. And what's, uh, what's beautiful about the Two Rivers culture is that those relationships feel genuine and, and uh, honest and, and real, although it's fantasy. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Nice thank show. You.